We are here with the last minute developments of the day. Don't forget to like the video before moving on to the news. Stone News is here to convey to you the new developments from the Russia-Ukraine war. The war continues without slowing down. Today, Ukrainian Marines captured 11 Russian soldiers in Kherson region. Ukrainian defenders have been capturing the Russian soldiers who covered its territory since the beginning of the offensive. Ukrainian Navy's press service stated that Ukrainian soldiers conducted successful counterattack against Russia in south of Ukraine. Yesterday, 20 Russian soldiers have neutralized or wounded in the attack while destroying Russian infantry vehicle. Both armies are doing their best to accomplish the war successfully. Both armies have suffered many casualties and military losses. In addition, over the past weeks Russian army's casualty numbers have increased. Russian army cannot get a success it desires. Ukrainian army attacks such a powerful way that Russia cannot repel the attacks but only suffers losses. Russian army is trying to prevent advance of Ukrainian armed forces in southern Ukraine. Russian soldiers are trying their best however, Russia could not repel or stop the advance of Ukrainian army in south. Russia started to lose the areas where it captured at the beginning of the war. Ukrainian army aims to recapture the every part of the country from Russian soldiers and Ukraine becomes successful at its attempts. Ukraine has liberated three villages. Russian authorities started to evacuate Russian soldiers from Luhansk region. Russian army focused on its southern positions. Russian army is taking backups to help fighting against Ukraine. Ukrainian army is a big trouble for Russian army now. Ukrainian army became stronger with the Western countries' help. Ukrainian authorities stated that Russian weapons cannot rank with Western weapons. Ukraine destroys many tank, ammunition depots and armored vehicles of Russia every day with these weapons. Russian president warned Western countries several times for helping Ukraine. However, warnings of Putin did not work on Western countries and they did not stop helping to Ukraine. Another news about this issue has been announced. According to breaking news, counterintelligence officers of SSU have detained two Russian agents who were conducting reconnaissance in Sumy Oblast for Russia. Ukrainian army continues to detain people who works and fights in favor of Russia. Recently, Ukrainian security service detained one hacker who worked for a Russian platform and sold data of the Ukrainian bank to this platform. In addition, Ukrainian armed forces detained an agent who transferred information to the Russian intelligence. Ukrainian army continues its investigations to obtain people who work for Russia. You can express your thoughts about this topic in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more breaking news. We will be back with new developments.